This summer, Southern California will be fighting its invasive mosquito population with more mosquitoes. The Veteran Control Districts of Los Angeles and Orange Counties collaborating on a groundbreaking initiative releasing hundreds of thousands of sterilized male mosquitoes into targeted areas waging war on the invasive species. Suzanne Clue is the general manager of the Greater Los Angeles County Vector Control District, and Suzanne joins me now with more. Good to have you. Uh, if you could just start Thanks off by having plainly me. explaining how the sterile insect technique pilot program is going to work. Yeah, I mean, really, basically, it's it's easy to explain. It's just like a mosquito. It's like a family planning for mosquitoes. So we're releasing these males that are um, sterilized by irradiating them, damaging mostly only their reproductive cells, not their body cells. So they'll be very fit to go and mate with the wild females. We're out competing the wild males seven or to ten to one, so they have a much higher chance these females to mate with our mosquitoes and because the mosquitoes can't properly uh, mate then that results in offspring that will not hatch out and uh, consequently in the reduction of the uh, mosquito production in the area overall so as far as I understand and of course correct me if I'm wrong it is the females that are the biters out there and the males yes. don't bite so while you may see more mosquitoes in your neighborhood because of this you you won't necessarily get bit anymore yeah, no, actually you should get bit less, especially as the summer wears on. Right now we're starting to see bites um, of these mosquitoes and as we're starting the releases, we're really hoping to keep the populations low, keep these biting female numbers low. And, and the males that we're releasing don't need a blood meal because they don't lay eggs, so they don't bite. Um, and as such, this program will not increase the, uh, the nuisance to our residents. Okay, when does, and by the way, I hate that it's the females out there that are doing the biting, darn it. Um, uh, when does deployment start? What does that look like? And are there particular areas that you focus on first? Yes, yeah, so well, we're starting really small, you know, because we have to rear a lot of mosquitoes and we're still working on how to ramp it all up to go bigger in future years. So we're starting relatively small in the Sunland Tahanga area. Um, that's a really good choice because there's the mountains in the back and some hillsides. So the neighborhoods are very secluded and a little isolated. So we won't have a lot of mosquitoes flying in from elsewhere. So we can really gauge how well our project is working. And so we're starting to release weekly uh, as of May 16th. Um, and the number of mosquitoes we're releasing, the males, um, will depend on what our trapping data shows us about how many wild mosquitoes are out there. So we will target the number of released mosquitoes always to that seven to one wild mosquito male to um to released mosquito that it is not able to reproduce okay so first deployment goes out may 16th and then is there an end date no it'll go all summer every week you know and uh, as we as we release we hope we will keep numbers low in the area and we will be releasing all the way um, to the end of the season, maybe early November or, or even later, depending on what our traps that are also deployed in the area show us. Okay, we have less than 30 seconds, but you in the break told me that you have some bites even as well. So you're yeah. not immune. You know, you work for no. vector control and the mosquitoes go after you too. Uh, any they advice do. for protecting yourself or caring for bites this summer season for our viewers? Yeah, so for definitely when you go outside, wear mosquito repellent um, to not have any bites, wear long sleeves, long pants to prevent bites, but also go through your yard, find all the standing water you may have out there, whether your sprinkler causes it or whether it's still left over from this spring's rain, get rid of all standing water and then talk to your neighbors and encourage them to do the same because if we all work together, we can keep these mosquitoes out of our neighborhoods by removing all these little sources that they like to breed in. Yeah, I was on the uh, website and there's actually a neighborhood watch for mosquitoes who knew so if you're interested check it out it's called end the bite or the bites all right Suzanne clue of the greater LA County vector control district thanks so much